Without batteries, there are no more iPods, no more iPhones, and the most terrible thing is no more Angry Birds, and that's going to kill me. All right? So same as human, without energy, take me for example, my brain will not function, my heart will not beat, and my muscle will not contract, because we need energy. But where is the energy source? Of course, I'm not going to eat this, right, or plug in in any part of my body. Then where can we obtain this energy? And it all comes from a very unique molecule. We call them ATP. ATP is universal, which means you can find it in bacteria, in algae, in plants, or in the dogs in your home, which means you can find it in living organisms. Then what ATP is? ATP actually is abbreviation describing me. It means always truly professional. But of course, at this moment, ATP means adenosine triphosphate. Okay, so you can have a look at this molecular structure. It is made of adenosine plus three phosphate group. That's why we call them triphosphate. So if two is diphosphate and one is monophosphate, then how ATP works? And you can see on this mechanism, the energy actually is stored inside this bonding. When it breaks, the energy released. And vice versa, when it forms, the energy is stored inside this bonding. So it's like a coffer. All right, so actually ATP is like a battery too, but a rechargeable battery because it's in the converting between ATP and ADP. But we have a problem here. It's that ATP is like a shotgun. You know, imagine the shotgun is the ADP and the bullets, the energy, is keep shooting out. So since you keep shooting out, you need to be reload. Then where can we have this supply of bullets? And it's very simple. It's the food we eat. The food we eat undergoes a series of chemical reactions that the energy generated are used to charge ADP back to ATP. So that's why, to scientists, we call ATP as the energy currency of living organisms. You know, spending a whole day being the judges or being listeners of me, imagine when you're back home, you are extremely exhausted. What will you drink? Of course, for me, I would drink coffee. Because coffee contains caffeine, that it increases the production of ATP. Then, actually, the amount of ATP in your body is proportional to your activity. The more ATP you have, the more active you are. And the less ATP you have, the more sluggish you are, like me now. And stay hungry, stay foolish. This is what Steve Jobs said. And for me, my version is stay active, stay with ATP. And I think, from my opinion, Steve Jobs is an anonymous scientist because I think he knows that if you stay hungry, you don't have enough ATP, then your brain will not function, then you'll be foolish. That's what I'm thinking. Thank you.